Well, good morning, everyone, and Happy New Year. It is so good to be in the year 2021 and no longer in the year 2020. Um, just a reminder, these services are recorded and they're on our YouTube channel and on, they'll be on GNET TV. Um, a warning that uh, we are, are having our annual meeting via Zoom in three weeks on the uh, 24th of January. Um, and, and what all we're going to do is continue with our Zoom call. Um, and so uh, that will happen on the 24th. And if you would like a, to know more about, hear the details about an explanation and have the chance to ask questions on the budget itself, that's going to happen on the 17th. Um, that will be when we hopefully cover any details associated with the proposed budget for 2021. Uh, also, this Friday at um, nine o'clock, we will be picking up our Bible study again. And uh, we are in the middle of the book of James. And uh, so uh, that will continue this Friday at nine. If you would like to be able to be a part of that, just be in touch with me and I'll send you the link when I send it out this week to all the folks that have been participating. Um, but we'd love to have more folks and all you need is a any version of a Bible. Um, and we'll keep working on the book of James. Ah, at this point, it is also, today is a communion Sunday. Uh, it's also, we're observing Epiphany. Technically, it's this Wednesday, um, but this is Epiphany Sunday. And to start us off, uh, we are going to sing together, um, We Three Kings. Uh, and uh, Scott will screen share Mary playing that. And Michael Ann and Patty singing that, and you can sing along at home. Let us pray. God of promise and light, open our eyes this morning that we may see your light in the darkness. Open our hearts that we may perceive your promises of justice and righteousness fulfilled in the babe of Bethlehem. May we, like the Magi, have a star to guide us on our journey quest to find the one who will truly set us free. May this time of worship bring us closer to you, that the good news of the birth of light and love will transform our lives. Let us then join in saying the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now's the time that we share our joys and concerns, and uh, the ones that I'm aware of. Uh, today we pray for another church, and it's, it's our friends. Um, at the First Congregational Church of Hubbardton. Um, by way of concerns, I would ask prayers for the family and friends of Dolores Woodard, um, who uh, was a longtime resident of Arlington and who will be buried on Tuesday. Um, prayers of healing are asked for Chet, our friend Chet, who was in the hospital for a time this week, but is now home and resting. And um, prayers for 
uh, Marianne, who will be having open heart surgery at Mass General uh, this week. If you have an additional joy or concern you would like to lift up, uh, please unmute yourself and just say your name and so I know who's speaking. Sandy, Sandy go, ahead. go ahead. Yeah, my daughter Renee is uh, goes down to Mass General on Tuesday for a test. They can keep her until uh, she has open heart surgery on my, a week from tomorrow, the 11th. Olavi. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Olavi. Uh, a peaceful Wednesday in Washington, D.C. Thank you. Others? Anyone else? Phyllis. Phyllis, go ahead. Prayers for all the victims of uh, the coronavirus and the families of those who have passed. Thank you. Others. And I invite you to join me in prayer as we lift these prayers up and the ones we hold within us. Oh, star flinging God, whose light dances across eternity dazzle us into your presence this new year. Open our hearts to the mystery of your love. Awaken us to your presence, knit to the ordinary. Reveal to us what is possible but not yet present. Heal us that we might be healers. Heal also those we've lifted in concern today, including those who are grieving for Dolores, who has gone on to new life in you, as well as the loved ones of those who have died of the coronavirus. We also pray healing prayers for Chet and Marianne and Renee. And we are mindful that there will be difficult activity in Washington on Wednesday. And so we pray that it will be a day of peace there and throughout our country. Reconcile us to you and to ourselves, loving God, that our living might be reconciling. Stop us often, we pray, with good news that is good with hope, that holds the, with truth, that transforms with a word tailored to this trail we're on. We find transformative hope in the joys we share today and we give thanks for our friends at the First Congregational Church of Hubberton. Oh God, may the word of your grace guide our steps like the sun by day and the north star by night as we travel into the gift of this new year. Amen. It is now time for me to raise our offering plate and to encourage you to start the new year off by including us in your giving. And so that can be done either through a check or um, electronically. If you need help with any of that, please call the office. Your gifts mean that we can continue to be a church to the world. I now invite Patty to unmute herself as she shares uh, the Carol of the Epiphany with us. him dressed in finest clothes where money talks and status grows but power and wealth he never chose it seemed he lived in poverty i sought him in the safest place remote from crime or cheap disgrace but safety never knew his face. It seemed he lived in jeopardy. 
I sought him where the spotlights flare, where crowds collect and critics stare, but no one knew his presence there. It seemed he lived in obscurity. Then in the streets we heard the word that seemed for all the world absurd that those who could no gifts afford were entertaining Christ the Lord. And oh, distinct from all we'd planned, among the poorest of the land, we did what few might understand. We touched God in a baby's hand. Thank you, Patty. I'd now invite Phyllis to share with us the epiphany story from Matthew's Gospel. Our reading today is from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. I'm reading from the New International Version. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who has been born to, of the Jews? We saw a star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, but this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem and the land of Judah, are no means least among the rulers of Judah. Out of all of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so that I may go and worship him also. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. A blaze. Southeast Australia faces even worse, a blast furnace. Unrivaled job losses accelerate across the United States. Expect a fourth more with more fizzle than bang. President in hospital as he battles COVID. These were the New York Time, Times headlines this year that we just finished on January 3rd, April 3rd, July 3rd, and October 3rd. During this past year packed full of devastation and death and loss, there are probably few other things that we would find universal agreement on that our wish than our wish of good riddance to 2020. As a whole new year opens with the hope and promise that a vaccine will find its way into enough arms over the coming months, we recognize from headlines that historically significant events made this past year one that will be the stuff that our children will tell their grandchildren of surviving. When we share through journal entries or songs or poems written or books penned about the terrible toll that 2020 took in the forms of lives lost, attention focused on long held injustices, forced new ways of communicating and interacting, we will hopefully 
also recognize the vital role of our shared stories and heritage. On this Epiphany Sunday, when we reflect on the familiar story of three wise men who followed a star determined to honor the Messiah, we know that this account has been passed down to us and over time, details have been filled in. Thinking that King Herod would be a great source of information, these travelers followed the star and landed in Jerusalem, stopping on their journey to get more specific directions. This stop along the way was harmless in its intention, but held potentially deadly consequences. Herod was then able to send them out as his scouts to Bethlehem once he knew that these magi were searching for the king of the Jews. It was Herod's advisors who knew their scripture well enough and could tell him that the one these magi were looking for was the king who came from the lineage of David. After this detour, they were back on the trail with a star in the night sky as their guide. They didn't arrive empty handed. They came bearing gifts that were fit for a king. Now we often refer to these men as kings, but we know that they were most likely astrologers from Persia. We always have three of them adorning our nativity scenes. I have one right behind me because of the three gifts that they came bearing, but we don't know how many of them there were, only that there was more than one because they are re referenced as wise men. And we have a story here where the ones who had seen the sign didn't have enough data to interpret it, while the ones who had the information in the background and the data, King Herod and his advisors, they hadn't seen the sign, the star. The Magi had something that made up for their lack of information. They had a willingness to continue to find answers. They trusted the sign from God and they followed it. They went seeking this new kind of king and they went with all of the honor and respect due any royalty of the time. Their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh held meaning and power regarding the life of Christ. The gold was for the crown that a king wears. The frankincense stood for Christ's ministry to come. And the myrrh was a foreshadowing of his death and resurrection. University of Vermont graduate and ordained Episcopal priest and writer John Henry Hopkins Jr. captured the journey of these three wise men in his epiphany gift for his nieces and nephews. In 1857, he wrote the carol we started our service with today, in which has been an integral part of pageants worldwide, including ours, We Three Kings. This is a story filled with light and the lengths to which some will go to honor the one that God has sent. We hear in it how God used Gentiles to honor the king of the Jews. It also speaks of power and the ends to which someone or some bodies would go to to hold on to that power. But ultimately, it is the story of how God became part of our story by coming in human form to show us how we're supposed to love. With so many hard headlines pointing to stories of pain and suffering this past year, we may have missed some of the headlines that drew, that drew attention to stories that speak to the power of love, such as over 900 cars paid for each other's meals at a Dairy Queen drive through in Minnesota. Police officer receives a life-saving transplant from the woman he put in jail eight years ago. And literally a miracle, rival gangs in South Africa call a truce to help people during pandemic. In the end, the best stories are love stories. Let's lead with love this year. Steve Garnes Holmes put it this way, the king of the Jews, why would they care about someone from a different nation, culture, and religion? Maybe in their wisdom, they knew love when they saw it. Nothing could make Jesus king of everybody but being the king of love. And so he was. 
He was not king of power or might, king of influence or success, social standing or privilege, king of being right or righteous. He was king of justice and mercy, of compassion and healing, of gentleness and reverence. And wise ones knew love is the greatest power in the world. They were willing to kneel to a higher power. This is the epiphany, the revelation. Your culture or nationality or religion does, don't matter. Your doctrine doesn't matter. Your religion is simply how you treat people. Wise ones know love when they see it. Pray for wisdom. Pray for love. Pray to be ruled by the Prince of Peace, the King of Love. Amen. And now I invite us to all share in the sacred love feast that is communion. This is Holy Communion for a Journey Sunday. It is the second Sunday after Christmas, the Sunday three days after New Year and three days before Epiphany. And in the old song, the 12 days of Christmas, it is the ninth day, the day when the gift is nine people dancing. So come to this table of one star for following, bread and cup for sharing, three days of New Year at least four still traveling camels, and many, many hopes for the world. Come to this table, even if you want to be laying everything down because you are so weary of being fearful, isolated, or essential to everyone but you. Come to this table if you are swimming in Zoom, virtual education, financial risk, or grief. Come to this table if you milked all the joy from Christmas enough to carry you into 2021 or not nearly enough. Come to this table if you have stopped dancing even though you are carrying many gifts or need to be healed by watching for the dance in snowflake or pohutra, in friend or stranger, in the old story of another path home and the warm bread and sweet cup shared right now. We remember in this new year with the fearfulness of the pandemic and hope that it will be ended, not only the journey of the Magi guided by a star, but all the oases where they rested and the people they met who lived in those places and shared their food. We remember a child born to change everything and the endangerment of many children. And we remember that the baby named Jesus grew up to help people in their hurting and loss, traveled as many roads as we do and taught us with simple words we can understand and stories we come to many times to find new meaning. At Passover, he blessed unleavened bread and poured wine and loved and loved freely. At Emmaus, he prayed and broke the bread, but sent us to find the cup in the world. Emmanuel God, you are with us in our lonely nights, following so distant stars. We are carrying our old years and opening our new ones, always hoping for an oasis for each of us and a blessing on earth in the form of bread in our hands and the cup we lift. May this bread and cup be so sacred, we never lose the star's shine. Ignore a new year embedded in every day, or forget the Christ of the dance and the invitation to joy. Let us share the bread. It is the gift that reminds us of our gifts. Let us drink deeply so that we may always travel on.
I invite you to join me in this prayer of thanksgiving. God, we thank you that when the star in the sky is gone, the kings and princes are home, the shepherds are back with their flocks, and we are tempted to pack the story away. This very bread and cup gives us the hope and courage to begin the true work of Christmas. Help us to find the lost, heal the broken, feed the hungry, release the prisoner, rebuild the nations, bring peace among all, and make a heart music so that everyone can dance. Amen. Scott will now screen share Mary playing Go Tell It on the Mountain as we sing together. Let us then go with this blessing. Arise and go forth to shine for all the world to see. Go now and follow the star that will guide you on your journey this week, this year, and forever. May the blessing of the God of light rest upon you and fill you with light. Let us go now in peace. Amen. You can unmute yourself if you want to speak. Thank you for those who have volunteer to be readers and I'm still looking for volunteers you can email me or call me thank you very much thanks Phyllis happy, happy, happy new year to all happy new year everyone happy new year keep on washing your hands Hi, Carolyn. keep on washing your hands <laughs> happy new year happy happy new year. Year. Up your hands okay <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year. Have a good week. Bye, everybody. Great yeah. yeah. for Have a good week. Bye, too. Hey, Sue, before you leave, yep, I'm here. You got, do you have Jamie's number? Yeah, I'm just looking it up. Hang on. Okay. I take it he's really hard to reach. Yeah, I would recommend that you um, text him. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's 802. Yep. 249. Yep. 6634. What would that part be called? It's kind of a the, rotor. The wash arm. Wash arm, okay. Yeah, because it's the top arm. It's the arm that, like, there's two of them layered on top of each other. It's the one that's yeah. on top. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is, that is that replaceable? Can they put yes. a new one in? Yeah, what I would do is open your dishwasher up, and there's a serial model serial number tag. If okay. You, if you can give them the model number. Okay. 
He'll try and get it, I'm sure. He can order that part, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll 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 go home and find that number and then text him with all this information and then if I don't hear from him like later in the week I'll call him. Okay. So, okay. If you happen to talk to him or see him, let him know. <laughs> you know I'm me in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, have a good week. Bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.